Hello and welcome my large burly mini golf players and also my petite pizza chefs. It's SJB here and we're gonna do another chimps video for you guys. I didn't, I didn't show you the big big CHIMP thing start at the very beginning here, but but that's okay. That's I think hopefully because we've got to go dartling guns. So uh, I want to be straight with you guys and let you know that I got a, a crappy, very crappy amount of sleep last night. And probably uh, having to deal with the fact that I woke up to have to go to the bathroom in the most horrific, awful way possible. Uh, and I, I don't really understand f for sure why that happened, but I, I have been eating very unhealthy lately. Like my, the main main thing in my diet has been cheese and brownies. And it's like when you combine cheese and brownies together as a diet, it just doesn't really work very well. So, that being said, I am so sorry to you guys for having to mention any of that stuff, but if you want to just press the like button for me anyways, that would be fantastic. Today we've got a Dartling Gun Chimps video. We're going to test to see if we can do a Chimps only or a, uh, a Chimps run with only Dartling Guns. But of course, because they cost $920 here, that means we cannot do a Dartling Gun only only Chimps run. We have to pick a hero, and I decided to go for again Quincy. I think he's my, my go-to Chimps runner here because uh, Sawdust is kind of the only other one that you can start off with very efficiently and effectively and still have some sort of supporting action to you as well over here. So, um, let's get going in here. Uh, I guess the main thing is we're already in round 18 and the main thing you're going to notice is that we're going to actually have to afford a very high level dartling gun very soon up in here. We need something for lead balloons. And the only thing that pops leads, laser cannon does not, buckshot does not, but hydro rocket pods does. We have to save about $5,670 on top of these two previous upgrades, on top of my Dartling gun here, on top of Quincy. That's a lot of stuff. So let's see if we can afford this guy, because if we can't, it might be some sort of weird Quincy buy, because uh, Quincy, believe it or not, um, is able to get lead popping power, but it usually takes a little bit of money invested in him. Sometimes it's a pretty significant amount, though, to actually get that next level up. So we're going to see how well this is going to work here. I'm hoping for the best, crossing my fingers. Just no straight guarantees. So uh, I guess um, I oh, I guess I'll just give you guys a quick update here, even though it's not that important. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Quincy, get to work, bro. Get to work. Quick update about my Amazon feud. Nothing happened. They didn't say it. They didn't reach out or anything like that, which is exactly what I anticipated and expected. And, and I, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, but uh, I realized that I went to go cancel my Amazon Prime account. And, uh, oh my god, I hate them. Unlike every other account in the history of the world, it basically says, okay, if you cancel this account, you get to keep all the benefits until the end of the year or whatever. Because I've got Amazon Prime for a year. And... They're like, no, 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 if you cancel now, you lose all of your benefits, Chris. You lose all the benefits. Maybe they're lying to me, I don't know, for sure, but it really seemed like they weren't lying to me, and that was kind of upsetting. So, uh, I was like, okay, I gotta remind me in three days, but I'm, I got another, like, six months on my Amazon Prime account. On top of that, I was actually rebuilding my, uh, uh, I was partially rebuilding one of my computers. So, because I was rebuilding one of my computers, I stole some parts from my one computer to put it into another computer, and I had to, like, clean it out and everything, and I moved some computers around. Things were going kind of wild all over the place. Uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. This is gonna get pretty wild pretty quick. This is, this is gonna be scary. Um, we have to buy a $3,700 tower here to pop lead balloons. Oh my goodness. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, let's put this guy on strong. See if that's gonna help us out at all. We have to use the dartling gun to our advantage here. And up, oh, not enough. Okay, so we bought it the first uh, part here and we're gonna put him on strong here. We're gonna hope that that strong aspect is gonna get us to where we wanna be. We got a lot more lead balloons popped right from the get go. So uh, let's go okay, moving back to first here. And uh, that was actually super duper easy this time around. Okay, now this is gonna be problematic for us because we just spent all of our money to get a hero upgraded when I did not want to do that. That is just like the worst way to spend your money in the beginning part of the game here, but it's just the way it has to be done. Oh, move back strong, move back strong. We're gonna use our ability here just to make sure we clean. Oh my God, oh crap, we almost lost, but we're alive, we're alive. All right, because we did that though, we're gonna swap into a powerful darts dartling gun here as well. That'll give us a ton of extra popping power uh, here, hopefully. I don't have it yet, but it's getting close. All right, some regens trying to regen on me, but they don't, and we get the powerful darts. Okay, that should be a big chunk of popping power for us. So we should be we should be in good order here. Anyways, I uh, I realized that I had to uh, uh, 
uh, plug all my computers back in and everything, and I had two different computers that I had to plug back in. And for whatever reason, when I was going through a lot of my... Um, uh, basically, I went through my entire house maybe like a couple weeks ago or a month ago or something like that. And I, I was doing a huge cleaning sesh where I was throwing out anything that I could that I felt like I'm not going to use this in the next several years or ever. I'm going to get rid of it. A lot of stuff I used to save. I used to be a very big saver. I was a saver guy. Um, and now I'm like, no, I want to get rid of all this junk that I've got. And I just got to stop buying. Being too materialistic in my life, man. So uh, I decided, yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's throw out all the crap. And I threw out on accident a computer cord. I don't know what went through my head to throw out that computer cord, but I always thought, yeah, I mean, every time I buy a new computer, I get a new power supply. Every time I buy a monitor, I get a new power supply cord. So this must be an old power supply cord that I just don't need anymore. Right? I mean, that makes the most sense out of everything. And then it just so happened that it was for my computer that I was currently using, that I was rebuilding and doing stuff to, and that's just a big pain in the butt. The reason I was rebuilding stuff... Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Dang, dude. So the reason I was rebuilding my... Um, we're going to leave them on strong here for a second. And we're going to go for... Uh, uh, ugh, man, we're going to get ready to use our ability here when we need it. That's the way I'm going to play it. Um, still going pretty good enough. Pretty good enough. Lead balloons here. This is when we're going to use it. Lead balloons seem to be the big problem here. Uh, zebra balloons actually seem to be a bigger, bigger problem here. But it looks like we're following through. We're going to move them back to first. And with that combo, we will take them down. All right. So we're going to put them back on first here for a second because I don't want to pop those leads at all because I want to save up and get my Hydrocopods because we're almost there. We're almost there. I need 100 bucks. 100 bucks and we're going Hydrocopods for sure. Guaranteed. 100%. Hydrocopods. Boom. There we go. All right, now we're back in business, players. So I guess long story short, none of this really matters too much, but I, I was missing my computer cable, all right? And I was like, you know what? I got to go buy a computer cable. So what's the first thing I do? Freaking go on Amazon, man. And I was like, well, let me go somewhere else and buy a computer cable. And I was like, dang, I kind of want this kind of quick because I just set all this up and did all this work, and I really want to be able to turn on my computer that I just got my new, my new thing for. And um, my web actually not too problematic here. Sweet. All right, let's think about this really quickly. Let's take a quick break from this this sad story here. And uh, we're going to buy another Dartling Gun. We're going to put them over in the corner here. And I think we're going to get one of them up to a uh, Plasma Accelerator. Now, this is this is a weird tower that I honestly don't really recommend it too much. But I have... I, uh... I, would, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. Screw Plasma Accelerators. We're going to right now waste our Dartling Gun over here. We might end up using him for something else later, or he can just be a little bit of extra mode popping power for now. But I actually want to get another Dartling, and I want to build him right here. All right, we're going to put him right here. I'm going to lock him in place somewhat sillily. Sillily like. Uh, and we're going to get him up to a powerful darts as fast as possible. And I want to go for a Buckshot. Now, this guy is a very powerful Dartling gun. Buckshot in himself is very good against mobs and everything. Uh, he's just a powerful, powerful tower. But the big problem with him is you actually need to alchemize him to get the true power out of him, out of himself. Does that make any sense? His true power is unlocked by using alchemy. Otherwise, he's not exactly a good tower anymore. So, we're still going to get the buckshot, but just keep in mind that right now he is not the strongest tower ever. Whenever I go buckshot, almost entirely, every single time, I'm going to go for the faster spin on this puppy. And that's going to open ourselves up for a pretty pretty decently quick shooting uh, 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 tower over here. But my big problem here is that if I want to go to a balloon area denial system, which is what I'm going to do, he's got one big weakness. All right, he does not pop leads. All right, and that goes all the way up into the bez area. He still does not pop leads. So if we think of long term on any of this action here, folks, the balloon area denial system is going to be almost worthless against late late game because of round 90, 93, 95, and 99. So I want to get something that's going to help me pop the balloons here and just kind of be, be like a, a decent all-around tower, some uh, popping power, some ceramic popping power, and also extra especially good against reinforced ceramics because he just slows them down and keeps them in play. Uh, I want to get at least a balloon air denial system, and then I have to decide if I want to save up for a really, really big beefy fifth tier or to start spamming some more fourth tiers kind of all over the place. Um, so, Darling Guns have a pretty good amount of monkey knowledge here that we have to keep in mind that are going to affect how we're going to play this game. Um, specifically, Hydra Rocket Pod's Rocket Storm upgrade is going to be much weaker. 
All right, just in general, don't consider that one of your main things. So we go, we've got camera protection with this guy, we've got this guy going. I feel pretty comfortable in surviving for a long time. Right now I have him unlocked, but I'm gonna swap him for now to target and defend it. This means he's gonna shoot first, close, last, and strong on each one of his uh, four barrels here, basically. And that's not usually that bad of a thing, but usually it would be better to keep them all on first, but he doesn't have that option. There's normal, which just means I control it, and there's target independent, which means he controls it. And because I'm lazy, I'd much rather let them control it until we run into some issues. And as soon as we run into some issues, that's when we can swap the strategy out and try to get, uh, uh, put them on first or whatever to make sure we can pop all these balloons. Especially maybe like round 63 or something like that, we might have some major issues. Oh, so I might get, uh, yeah, you know what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for the rocket storm here. This is gonna be my extra support when I need it. Uh, I've got three abilities now that I can use whenever I need it, and right now we haven't had to use any of them, which means we're doing well. That's a good thing. We're doing very well. Um, a lot of mode popping power, a lot of balloon popping power. Uh, combine these two guys together, you got a good combo. Quincy's kind of just doing some stuff, so that's cool too. Look at this, 25,000 pops. He's been around the entire game. He's got 25,000 pops, 7,000. So clearly, this guy is a very good tower. Even without the alchemy, he's still good, but he does wear off in the late, late, late game. 80 plus, he's going to start to be a little on the weak side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save up for Abez, the balloon exclusion zone, but I'd like to. I'd like to, but I think because, again, the lack of DDD popping power, we have to think about what else are we going to use to get that DDD popping power. And I think there's one tower in particular that I, th I feel like I almost have to get. But the mad. 64 grand. $64,000 we have to save up right now. Uh, that is tricky. So we're going to watch ourselves very carefully, use our abilities as effectively as we possibly can, but we're going to have to probably play around 80 plus before we can even afford the mad. And after that, mobs are not a big deal, but balloons still will be. We have to decide if we want to spam rocket storms or get more blue narrow denial systems or try to save up for the big fat bez or what we want to do here to make sure that this is going to go our way. I don't know the answers yet because I have to kind of see how much money I'm gauging here and I'm making stuff up as I go. I'll admit it. All right. Round 63. All right. Not too bad. Uh, in fact, so good that I'm going to use my ability here on this last wave. Just blow my big fat missile load all over the face. And we are feeling good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right, still no problems. Still no problems at all. Even against big chunks of ceramics, that means round 76 and round 78 probably won't be too big of a deal. Um, but I'm still a little bit worried about around like 75 and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump back, jump back to you guys at round 75, and we'll see how we're doing. Alrighty then, we are around 75 right now, which is a fairly beefy round. Not ridiculous to beefy by any means, but uh, it is a round that's honestly more difficult than the rounds around it, in my opinion. That being said, we're still kind of owning the balloons here, so uh, no major issues for me here. We'll use our Hydro Rocket Pods for round 75. We're having to use a few abilities here and there. You know, nothing crazy, but a little bit here and there. Look at this. Oh, oh, round 76, we're just going to say screw it. We're going to go for our Aero Storm because I don't want to feel like... I, I don't want to deal with uh, losing stupidly to a big, crappy regen rush. So I guess just to finish my, uh, my story really quickly, I needed a power core. And I went to Amazon and I realized, wow, I'm freaking addicted, man. I was thinking, like, what else could I do to get a very quick power cord? And I really don't think there's any other good options out there. Um, like, I think the closest thing that I could probably think of is probably, like, something like Walmart. Um, Best Buy's not bad, but Best Buy has also given me some hassles before and or... I could actually leave my house and go do things, I suppose. That is another way that I could make things happen. Possibly. But I'm usually not that kind of person, man. I don't like leaving the house and doing things. It's kind of rough, isn't it, guys? I did a lot of things today, though, believe it or not. My, uh, uh, I, I, I always, if, I always just call it Amanda's parents, but I really need to get used to saying parents-in-laws or whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh crap, look at this. Oh crap, look at this. Woo, there we go. We got it going. Anyways, I went over to their uh, new house they're getting built, which is pretty cool. We went to a stain party. You know what that is? It means that they got all of their hardwood floors installed in their house, and they uh, uh, were picking out which stains they wanted to use for forever. Because they're planning on having this be their forever house. So I really felt like a big decision. Um, and uh, we helped them make it, at least a little bit. Not too much, but at least a little bit here. All right, we're going to use Quincy's first ability. I believe that's going to help me pop the mob a layer a little bit. Works pretty well. Taking these guys down. We got $55,000 saved up at this point. 
Um, a little bit more ceramic action coming in here. Looks like we're taking him down slow but surely. And we need another uh, roughly $8,000 to make what we need happen happen. So we're going to start with the Quincy ability. Get that mob popped. He does actually have a reasonable amount of mob pop power with that ability there. Um, I might be able to wrap around and do two rocket storms, but I think I might be best off actually uh, trying to save my abilities if possible. Or just using the rocket storm instead of Quincy's arrows. I think the rocket storm is weaker. So we're going to use the rocket storm here. And we lost. Great. Okay, so not really great, but what we can do to switch this up is we can use Quincy's arrows to start. We can use our uh, Rocket Storm here to get going. We can use Quincy's ability again. We're going to wait for a wrap around here, and I believe that should be possible. I mean, the Zombie God is pretty slow. We're definitely going to get the Rocket Storm back. Uh, I'm also going to switch this guy to normal here. We're going to have to aim for a little bit, pop in the front balloons and all that junk. Uh, it's going decently well this time around. Rocket Storm about to pop out here once they get pretty close. And with all of that combined together, we do take down Route 81. So we're going to have to control our towers for a little bit. Um, we do not have the mad money yet. Still about seven grand off. We could get it about a round or two. Hopefully by the round, end of round 80. Yeah, might get it by the end of this round or the start of the next round, hopefully. All right, we're going to use Quincy's ability here to start. Because that one comes back pretty quick. And then we're going to go for a Quincy arrow, I believe. Ooh, look, that was close. Quincy arrows. Ooh, I kind of missed with those arrows. We're going to have to use this missile barrage as well. And this still could be a problem for us. All right, 81 plus is dangerous, man. Dangerous. And all this combined together, we're trying to do our best. It's going to be close. We're trying to send these ceramics backwards. And it looks like we do take them down. Woo. All right. That was scary, man. That was way scarier than I wanted it to be. I like aiming right here. This is, like, the ideal spot to keep it, if, if possible. If Quinty can explode the balloons, basically. Um, I guess we're going to blow an early Rocket Storm here. Let's blow an early Rocket Storm. Get that mad money, hopefully. Uh, we're close. We got it. 800 bucks. Getting there. Getting there. Don't mess up, Chris. It's so easy to mess up at this point. All right, we're going to blow our arrow load. No, no, let's not. Let's wait. Let's get the mad first. Then we can blow our arrow load whenever we feel like it. Arrow -y load of deliciousness. Whew, aiming is difficult here. Goodness gracious, clearly the ceramics are a major, major issue for us. Oh my god. What the heck? We had to split these guys up a little bit better. I also do have my mad ability if, I re if it really comes down to it, I guess. I don't really want to have to do that, but it's a possibility. It's always a possibility. All right. We're going to blow our mad load here. Blowing the load, and these super ceramics are just freaking insane for my current strategy, man. It's wild how bad we are against super ceramics now. We've actually lost ceramic popping power because we got the mad. Oh, baby. All right, so on that note, we got to figure out what the heck we're going to do about these ceramics because if we look at our, our choices over here, we've got a plasma accelerator, or even if we go down to like lower tier stuff, buckshots, hydro rocket pods, and laser cannons. Those are like kind of the big three here. We could go all the way up to a Plasma Accelerator, a Rocket Storm, or a Blue Narrative Analysis System, but those are, of course, going to take time. I think we just got to wash away the Bez completely. It's just not going to happen, bro. 62 grand. We're too far in the game for that to even be a, a reasonable thing to assume. But honestly, I think my best play against the Ceramics in particular is probably a combination of Rocket Storms and Blue, Blue Narrative Analysis Systems. I don't have any frozen uh, uh, or any, like, ice towers or anything like that so laser blasts and plasma accelerators i don't feel like are going to be what i need them to be so i think i'm better off with the other guys so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna spam these puppies up um and see where we, what we can do with them and to start you guys off we're gonna go for a uh quick two two uh dartling gun here maybe it'll help us out a little bit i don't know and definitely it's gonna come down to abilities for a little while how good do our abilities work in conjunction with each other and can we pop these ceramics when we need to clearly the uh, pop power is not a problem it's everything else. Look at this. Oh my god. This is insane. All right, even though this didn't go that much better, it did go better just in general. We're going to get the uh, ro Hydro Rocket Pods as soon as we possibly can and possibly save up for a Rocket Storm here. But uh, uh, positioning these guys is really, really, really tricky. Um, I'm also really trying to save my uh, mad ability for kind of emergency situations, but I might have to just say screw that and just go for non-emergency situation use cases. But now that we have a Hydro Rocket Pods, it may not seem like a big change here, but that is going to increase our, our ceramic popping power drastically because this guy slows them down and the Hydro Rocket Pods is going to do the actual damage here. So uh, let's see if this is going to work out in our favor, I guess. 
All right, we could also pop less mobs at a time if we're willing. If we're willing. Um, if we're willing and or good enough, we're gonna use our Mad Rocket Storm. I should have used it earlier. Dang. Now we have to fight Route 85 without two abilities in my squad. All right, we're gonna go for another. Um, I said I wanted to go for a combo, so let's do a combo, man. I want more ceramic slowdown, but before I get that, I'm gonna go for one more of these guys. At least one more of these guys. And we can take them down one at a time as we as we wish. We gotta flow them out nice and slow here. Target them up. We're gonna go target independent again. Um, I might have to swap them back to something else later, but for now, I'm happy with this. Use Quincy's first ability, which is a nice, easy, low-key ability. Just kind of increase your popping power a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. This is going very well this time around. Heck yeah, another hot to rocket pods. And you know what? I have not done it yet. We're gonna go for one laser shock focus firing one. Why a little bit of extra damage can't hurt us. Um, hits a little bit fewer balloons. But I feel like it might matter a little bit just in the long run to hurt a few of these uh, high tier ceramics, just a few extra layers, man. Just a few, don't wanna go crazy. Just a few. All right, we're at 87 plus here. We're not taking it down too slow. But everybody's working out really, really well together now. This is a good combo. I am liking this. I might just say, mm, now nah, I'm going to go for another balloon air uh, denial system. I'm feeling them. Or right, we're going to go for a mad ability here. Just kind of wipe out these uh, puppies really quick. And get going with that uh, denial system. We got the money. We got to be careful here. There are ceramics that could easily sneak through. That's the worst part about my strategy is one ceramic could sneak through. One red balloon could sneak through without me even noticing, and it would suck so hard, but it's totally possible. All right, so we're going to go for a bottom path. Boom, boom, boom. Buckshot. We're just going to lock them in place for now, and we're going to go for that middle path combo before I even go into fourth tier. I'm going to go for our mad ability here to take down these ceramics. It's not usually what he's designed to do, but he still can do it reasonably well. So that's what we need to do. We need to pop all these ceramics. Quincy ability. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, did you see that? Do you guys see this in the bottom corner here? That's a ceramic about to sneak through. I am the luckiest man alive. The luckiest, or the skillful. Most skillful man alive, I don't know which. <sighs> okay, I just got, uh, I have nerves of steel today. Um, at least working on it to the best of my ability. Uh, I think I gotta move this guy back to, to normal. I think I gotta aim the frontis blutes. I just have to. So we're gonna go for a big arrow crush really quickly. There's more reinforced BFBs coming out here though. Dang, we're gonna try to pop a few at a time. Don't want to pop out too many. And seems like these super ceramics are just insanity, man. Just straight insanity. Slow but sure is the better way to play sometimes. Are we going to use our mad ability? Mad ability. Quincy's the only one that he should be able to, like, snipe those last few balloons, bro. If it's a ceramic, he can't snipe it. But he should be sniping these yellow balloons and stuff. He just should be. All right, Quincy, get your other ability out over here. And we got round 90 popping up soon. The good news is round 90 actually will not be that big of a deal for us. If we can beat round 80 frickin' 9, man. Okay, I've decided since my uh, balloon popping power here is the biggest deal, I am still going to uh, go for a balloon, or a balloon air denial system eventually. But for right now, I'm actually going to swap into a rocket storm. So we're going to go for our rocket storm here. I think we got it. We do, we got it. But that rocket storm... Um, we're gonna use our arrow ability fairly early here. And we're gonna use our mad ability as well. Like I said, round 90 is not gonna be that big of a deal, but that rocket storm was clearly the answer. It's like you get big chunks of balloons coming out, you gotta have something that just instantaneously pops them all. Uh, we didn't use a lot of our abilities there. The rounds are, oh, we beat round 90, look at that. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like round 90 is normally a big problem, first DDT sets, but it's not an issue for us at all. Also, you're noticing these regular ceramics are not seemingly that big of a deal either. It's mostly just the super ceramics. I think it popped. It did indeed pop. It was scary as crap, but it popped. All right. I blew everything, though. Um, we're going to use Quincy's ability here. We're trying to slow it down in the back. Oh, my God, dude. I, like, can't even see what's going on. Like, this pink balloon's going to sneak through here. I am just getting so lucky with these escapes. This is real chips. If I lose this life, I lose the game. I have to start all the way over. Oh my god, after like 10 tries, we finally took down round 91. I almost lost legit like 10 times. I kept seeing balloons get all the way over here. I even saw one yellow balloon randomly sneak through the entire map, but I did not lose. And I am so lucky because of that. Um, this is difficult, though. Clearly, very, very, very difficult for me right now. And I'm not entirely sure why. I feel like I have the best towers that I think that I should have. Um, there are other options for me, obviously. 
But I feel like I'm doing alright. And it's kind of crazy that we're losing so hard while you're feeling like you're doing alright. It's again most of these reinforced balloons, which hopefully we're going to have something to deal with uh, pretty soon in here. But it's all about how we use our abilities and how we combine them together to be like as efficient as we possibly can. So we go. we're going to go for a quick rocket storm, clean up some of these ceramics. Uh, some luck involved with all of this action. Definitely a lot of luck involved with this, this action here. We're going to go for Quincy's first ability. And I might have to use Quincy's second ability because I don't think that round 93 is going to be a big deal. That's the main thing for me. Round 93 will not be a big deal because, again, it's just DDTs. All right, so we're going to pop out a quickity-quick bottom path here. And again, we're going to go for that middle path combo. DDTs should just get sniped very easily, hopefully. Uh, don't even need to waste my mad ability, ideally. But these are some reinforced BFBs coming in here as well. All right. Not too shabby. One thing that I've noticed is even though it's kind of stupid, uh, leaving this guy on target independent and leaving my uh, Moab, uh, uh, my Mad here on uh, my own targeting seems to work out uh, kind of the best of both worlds here because I really can't micro both of them very effectively. I can only do like an okay job. So I like just controlling one of them good and try to control how many Moabs I'm popping to keep how many ceramics on the, uh, around the screen kind of even all at the same time. Letting this guy sort of take down most of them and everything else. So uh, the one thing that I will say that was uh, very interestingly enough, using my mad ability to start seems to be the better way to go. And then using other abilities for cleanup seems to work out pretty well. I don't know if this is going to work though. This is round 94. This is a beef-tastic level. Uh, very beef-tastic. A lot of balloons on the screen here. Definitely getting pretty problematic. I'm going to leave as many Zoma Gods on the screen as I possibly can. We're going to use our arrows to take down this first set of everything. All right, we've got a lot of balloons we still got to take down here, but hopefully we can kind of keep control of them. No abilities left, though. No abilities. So we've got to control them good. All right, we're controlling okay. We're going to get a second one of these guys. I am aiming him this time. And we get a mad bit of it, too! Oh my god, a mad ability. And with our mad ability, holy crap! That was close, but again, we come out on top. Dude, I have the adrenaline pumping right now. My tiredness is almost completely gone. Oh, the amount of times that it's been so, so, so close has been absurd. Alright, so we're going to put this guy on target defend as well. And uh, round 95 should not be a big deal. Again, DDTs, not usually a big problem for us. So we're going to use... Uh, I'll try to save my abilities if possible. Or just use Quincy's one main ability. Maybe that'll be enough here for us. Holy crap. Oh, that's a little too tight for my liking. That's a little too tight for my liking. And so again, on rounds that even I feel pretty comfortable with. Whew. Shoof the foof. All right. I guess uh, maybe next thing I want to do is get on the Rocket Storm here. Because we got to pop round 98, guys. Round 98. If we're trug struggling against round 95, how the heck are we going to deal with round 98? I just don't see it in the cards right now. I don't see it in the cards. And I don't know what else I could change here in the future to get more balloon popping power. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to use our mad ability here for 95. We're just going to blow up a lot of these things. That should be enough, I believe. One mad ability, hopefully. Still some blues on the screen here. Not as problematic as last time. Still a little tight. But we do take down round 95, and our mad ability is just about back. Round 96. All right. So again, I think my best bet is to go for more Rocket Storms. Hopefully I'm making the right play here. Main thing is, again, I'm going to use my mad ability first. Clean up a lot of the balloons with most of the Moabs, but not all the Moabs. And kind of just leave the rest uh, uh, as I see fit. So one Rocket Storm there. We go for another Rocket Storm here. And these are getting owned, like, unbelievably right now. This is almost absurd how much we're ownage we're getting here on run 96. Run 97 will be an absolute breeze, too, so this is great. Quincy's first ability. You know what? I'm just going to use the mad ability. All right. I just used the mad ability there, but I don't think 97 is going to be a big deal at all, so it doesn't really matter too much. We'll save it up and we'll get round 98 ready to go. And I think the best thing for us to do on run 98, again, is get another rocket storm here. Uh, I think that's our best bet. Three Rocket Storms, just kind of spam those abilities. Hope that we can pop these uh, Bloods a little bit uh, before uh, they, they run through our defense, man. This is going to be a tough round, though, guys. We've got all abilities produced ready to go here right from the get-go. All right, let's start off with a Quincy Arrow 
and a Moab Storm. I think I'm gonna have to replay this though. We're gonna use both Rocket Storms here right from the get go. And we're gonna use a Quincy Arrow because I'm gonna have to wrap around and use these all again, I think. I think that's the way this is gonna have to go down. So let's see if we can do a full wrap around here while we take this nice and slow against the Zomai Gods and such. Can we do a full wrap around? Can we do a full wrap around? Um, there's a lot of explosions going on, so it's very difficult to see what actually is happening here. But it looks like we should, unless something crazy happens, get at least one of our abilities back here. And that's hopefully going to keep us in game until uh, we're ready for the next ability. So here we go. This is our mad rocket storm here. Our mad storm. And, oh, dang. I, like, had it back, but I didn't quite have it back. I just don't think it was going to cut it for us. Darn. All right, we're going to try something a, a smidge different. We're going to use the other abilities besides the Mad Storm. Um, first, I, I, I want to get him back a second time, but maybe just popping just straight through the Moab layer is good enough. Plus, Quincy is level 20 now, and that is a big boost of popping power here. So even though we were struggling before, we did not have a level 20 Quincy. And that is a big difference for us. Pretty much everything's stronger. All right, by, like, a large margin. All right. We're gonna go for our Mad Storm here in just a second. Mad Storm is out. Woo! Woo! See what I mean, guys? See how tight that is? Like, that should have just been popped. Somebody should have popped that crap. But it didn't get popped. It didn't get popped. Okay, so we could try the uh, Mad Storm as our first thing again. I mean, we're not doing much damage here. Uh, I almost feel like it was a waste, but it is what it is. Um, we do want to pop as much as we possibly can and then just start doing cleanup work, realistically. So, uh, let's get some a decent amount of BFBs popped here. Hopefully, no Zoma Gods in the, the mix here. And then we're going to use Quincy's abilities. Quincy's abilities. Both of Quincy's abilities do get used here pretty effectively. Not great. We're going to go for a quick Rocket Storm. Uh, another Rocket Storm. Oh, my God. Dude, it's so hard to see. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, guys. This is just absurd. So even though this is an absurdly long video, I've decided to uh, show this to you guys anyways. Um, this is my round 98 try and my round 98 fail. This is post-commentary, but you guys can see some um, very unfortunate endings here because my quote-unquote fail was not exactly a fail. I want to show you guys. So here we go. This is all my tries on round 98 of doing different things with the combinations of towers here. I don't know what I could have possibly done any better um, as far as micro is concerned. I feel like I did a pretty good job testing out different strategies, different things that I could do. Trying to use my abilities twice, trying to combine and use certain abilities twice, but certain abilities not using twice. Uh, Super Ceramics are just too freaking beefy. Uh, the bottom path, the Dartling Gun, seemed to be the best tower against the Ceramics. If you have other towers that have, like, some popping power against them... Uh, I just don't know what that tower would be, though. I don't think a top path Dartling Gun is necessarily the answer to this situation. But I have one other thing that I can try out eventually. I think it's going to involve a different hero. There's not many heroes you can do to start off on Chimps mode. That's going to leave us with, with basically just one answer for us. Sorta. So, uh, again, this is me just running through my different strategies here, trying to speed it up and everything. And believe it or not, I did catch myself on every single one of these uh, games before they leave through. And you can tell some of them were just complete and utter fails right from the get-go. Some of them were closer than others. Um, some of them I got uh, pretty tight up in here. But most of them just kind of like went a little bit too quick and we ended up just dying um, almost absurdly, absurdly fast here, which was kind of upsetting, admittedly. So uh, this is going to be my last try here. I want to show you guys this uh, 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 in extreme speed-up mode, but watch the very ending here, okay? Oh, oh, I lied. This is the last try. Watch the very end here as we get to the slowdown. The balloons are about to sneak through. It looks like, oh, yeah, we're fine. I went home real quick, and then, well, boop, 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 boop. So in my last game, I could not afford Hydra Rocket Pods in time for around 28, so I had to spend 3,000 3, or so dollars on Quincy to get lead popping power. For Soda, it's going to work a little bit differently here because you have to use her abilities properly. Um, we could also try to make the rounds last a little longer if possible, but it doesn't really work out that well with Sada because she's so good! So we're gonna hope that we can manage to pop all the leads here with Sada on Monkey Lane. Otherwise, we are totally boned, boys. Let's see, with this cross around, we got one last lead here. Is it gonna get jumped on in time? It's a slow process. We got a chance for a maybe, 
Come on, Sauda. We need you to do this for us. Last second jumpage, and bam! We get that lead balloon. That was scary. That was actually one thing that was keeping me away from going Sauda on this map instead of going Quincy. Uh, but yeah, that's good enough for us. The real question here now is can we use Sauda to beat these late game rounds compared to Quincy? And I hope the answer is yes, but we do not know yet. Oh, you dirty dog, Dartling Gun. What are you doing to him over there, man? Oh my goodness. Well, now that we've got our original OP Hodge Rocket Bots Dartling Gun down, now we have to decide what do we want to do? Because my first thought is, well, I just want to use the exact same strategy because it probably is going to work. And that is possible. It probably would work. Maybe. Sada is more powerful than Quincy. But I'm worried. I'm worried that it might not be powerful enough still. And I might be wasting all of my time in doing the exact same strategy, and it'll all be boring and terrible and stupid. So I've decided I want to try something a little bit different. This is a very, very expensive tower here, but the top path dartling gun. Super difficult to use. Plasma accelerator defeated by purples very easily. You need to get the middle path here for the cam detection, but it also does increase its popping power. Question is, is it worth it for us? Ah, I truthfully do not know the answer to that question, but I'm hoping in the late game here, it is going to be strong enough to get us through this game. Um, the question now is, could we maybe get enough money to save up for a Ray of Doom? I, I'm going to go with a probably not, but I'll play it by ear. And if we can get a Ray of Doom, I'd rather a Ray of Doom over a Mad. It's just as powerful at popping moabs, but then also destroys balloons super easily. So, yeah, let's see where we're going to land with the muddy situation, bro. Checking in with you guys real quick here. I've had a no micro strategy so far until round 66 with this guy locked in kind of towards the front here and hydrocopods back here. May not last for uh, many rounds more, but for right now, it is a micro list strategy, and that is pretty awesome to me. So I'm still watching it very closely because a lot of balloons are still making it over here, but it's just kind of cool. So uh, we have 35 grand out of our necessary 86 grand, so $50,000 saved up. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but uh, uh, I think uh, we could probably save up our 40-ish thousand. Mm, 40 to 50, I mean, that's not that big of a difference, really. Think about it, get deep on that stuff. See where it goes. You know, I just wanted to mention this really quickly. Sauda inflicts extra damage to any balloon slowed, immobilized, or taking damage over time from other monkeys. So Sauda's gonna do extra damage to all these uh, balloons that are getting laser shot, which is really, really cool. I never I never even noticed or even thought about that combination right there, but it seems like it could be a pretty uh, worthwhile combo here. All right, so free play is getting pretty ridiculous already. Uh, you can see how we're having some pretty chaotic uh, issues already with the ceramic balloons. Um, they're just so freaking strong. So freaking strong. It's almost absurd how strong these things are. Why? Why? Alrighty, so after about six or seven tries, uh, I'm like not even close. Like not even close, close. So what I can do is I can buy a rocket storm here. If this gets me through the game, awesome. I don't think it's going to get me through the next like three or four rounds here to save up enough money to get a Ray of Doom. But at the very least, it opens ourselves up to getting a mad $64,000. And then we're going to see if we can still do a somewhat similar strategy, I guess, this time around with the uh, uh, Plasma Accelerator. But as I can plainly tell from right now, Plasma Accelerator is having a rough, rough, rough time overall against uh, these Super Ceramics. These are not even reinforced Super Ceramics. They're just regular Super Ceramics and having some mega issues here. So... Let's see if we can micro through this crap. You know what? I'm just going to go for it because there's no way that this Hydro Rock Bot is saving my life. We're going to get this uh, mad as soon as we can afford it. It just ain't happening, brah. It just ain't happening. We get the money for the mad. That does not increase our balloon popping power too much. But now we do have the MOA popping power. Um... And yeah. Wow. That was... No. That was... What, what am I doing? All right. I just said screw it and I got the mad. That's where I'm at right now. Screw it. Got the mad. Don't know if that is going to uh, save the day here, but got the mad. That's the main thing. Got the mad. All right. So now we have to uh, uh, use things that are going to work well with our mad. And we're back to a very similar story. The origin story of pushing back ceramic glass blues. So we're going to go for a quick buckshot here. Uh, we're just going to throw this guy out there because this is really annoying right now. And we still almost lose. Holy 
crap. Okay, so there's been a lot of humps so far. Um, we're hoping that this is the last hump, but there's still no guarantees on it. just about anything in this world. I decided to go for my two blue narrow denial systems again, because it seems like it's just the best ceramic popping power, just in general. Um, I've aimed them both generally this way instead of the other way, and we're relying on Sauda to do most of our popping power these days. She's going to be a majority of my ceramic popping power, believe it or not. Just keep them in place next to Sauda, and let my Moab Maul- or- I keep calling him Moab Mauler. My Mad take down all the Moabs, and then the rest of the guys just do something. I mean, this guy at this point does have 479,000 pops, so it looks like he's doing something good. I just don't really feel like he's doing all that many pops, if that makes any sense. Feels like he's still very weak against the ceramics and very weak against super ceramics, um, or at least just not powerful enough to make it all work in my favor here. Luckily, I believe round 95 is going much better than it was last time. I actually struggled quite a bit with my last strategy. So, uh, knowing Sada is up to level 16 already is a... Oh, it feels so good. It feels so, so good. We're going to do the exact same thing with another Dartling Gun. Lock him in and get another Blue and Arrow Denial System as soon as we possibly can. Shoot our Mad Blast here real quick, like. Going, uh, decent. We're going to use Sada's ability again. Just getting pretty powerful here. And then for round 97, Breezy Man. No problem at all. If we take down round 96 here at the end, round 97 will be easy. In fact, so easy that I'm, gonna be really, I'm willing to use my mad ability on Route 96. Do take it down. Beautiful. We get our third Blue Nair Denial System. And I've been streaming so long that I'm already getting voice cracks going. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. There we go. Route 98. This is what we could not beat last time. Will it be different this time? Will Sauna be the game changer for us? Oh, okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. This could be tricky. All right, we got our mad ability here. We're going to get ready to use it pretty soon. We got ready to use this here. There are some ceramics trying to sneak through. All right, so we're already running to the issue that uh, leaving them all facing one way may not be the best option. So I'm going to try a triple target independent right now. I'm also going to go for an early mad ability, again, hoping that I get it back a second time around. I did not use Sawdust abilities last time, but it, kind of, it kind of surprised me that that one ceramic was going to sneak through like that. So... Let's see if we can use Sada's ability here, kind of right in the midway of the mad ability. She did a pretty good job taking down some of the ceramics. Not quite enough of them. Everybody's target independent right now. Uh, taking the ceramics down. It's going to be kind of tight here. We're going to jump on some of these ceramics, try to kill them just a little bit. Mad is getting overwhelmed here, and these balloons are just going to easily swipe through our defense here. Mad ability not even close, well, reasonably close to being back. Oh my god, we might do it. We might do it. We might just do it, my friends. Take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. Let the mad take his time here. We can get our abilities back and everything if we need to. And hopefully get him back for around 99 if possible. All right. Uh-oh. Don't pop him too quick, Chris. Come on. Saw his ability. Taking down some of them. Let's jump on this crap to finish it off. And yes, we do. We take down round 98. Unbelievably beautiful. Holy crap, we've got a mad ability here for round 99. We're going to use it just because. And round 100 should go down because we've got a mad on our team. And we finally do it, my friends. Oh, dang, this was by far, by far, by far the hardest chimps run that I have ever done in my entire life uh, with a solo tower. Um, dang, this was just ridiculous. The amount of retries that I had to do where the balloons were literally at the edge of oblivion, ready to kill us at any moment. And we still have succeeded, my friends. Oh my god. Absolutely absurd. Hopefully this was a reasonably entertaining video because it was tough for me, man. It was really tough. But we did it. And uh, I guess we're going to free play. Let's see if we can uh, go to round 200. Let's go. Let's go. 200! No problem, baby. Round 101. Schmear. Schmear a derp. Round 102. Should be easy. Simplicity. DDTs ain't got nothing on me now, bro. Oh, yeah. We got money to spare. Everything just happens. Quick mad ability here to take all these guys down. I think 200 is going to be a no problem zone for us, guys. It's going to be a no problem zone. Let's just make sure we're using all of our abilities here properly. And bam, shazam, that CDT is taken out. Round 103 here, moving up in the world. Let's go for a quick mad ability here while we got all the balloons on the screen. Okay, 200 maybe been a little bit of a stretch, but we probably could have pushed it to around like 199, 198 or something like that if we really push ourselves. But you know what? This round is good enough for us for today, my friends. So if you enjoyed, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.